Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to take a look at these twinkly squares and these are LED panels and they are 5 plus 1 so there are a total of 6 squares. One of them controls all of them so that's why the 1. So let's see. They are compatible with both Apple and Google and you can use your assistant to control them. This is how the application looks like and it gives you uh, some information about what it's included here in the box. On this side it gives you an idea on how to install it. So let's take a look. So let's open this up. I like the really nice uh, presentation they have here on the box. It has a nice black matte finish. Here first you have some information and by the way these are generation 2. Here you have a thank you note, some stickers. This is a template where you can probably put some uh, screws to hang them. So that's pretty cool. You won't have to guess. And here are instructions on different languages here is the physical setup extension and by the way you can get a uh, different extensions for this I think I saw where this is the startup kit and then you can add up to I think 15 of these squares so here is the first panel, it comes with the plastic for protection, but this is what it looks like. So we'll leave the protection until we are done connecting them and installing them. But for now, this is what it looks like in the front, and this is what it looks like in the back. When I first saw the picture of how they look, it looks a little bit complicated, but I think by looking at some of the instructions online, it seems fairly easy. It has a USB-C here. It has a button here. There's nothing else on this side. Nothing else on that side. Or here. You can connect this light to the next light by one of these connections. And use this to connect it to the next square. Of course you could also put them separate. Here's another box. Let's put this on the side. See what's in here. And these, these things are to connect one box to the next. You don't have to use them, but they are here. So we'll take a look at that. Here are the cables to connect one to another. One, two, three, four, five, six cables in this box. You have the USB C cable on both sides, which is cool. Then you have the power. Oh, that's cool that you can move this so you can plug it. Uh, this is white, the rest of it's black, so if you want everything black, you're probably gonna have to get another square. But it also can blend in with the wall. This will power the first square, and then the first square will power the rest. So now we have another square. And let's see, this one does not have any buttons whatsoever. So these are the extensions. This is the next one. And I like that he has this paper on top of the plastic so you don't scratch them right out of the box. And that's it, that's all you need 
for now until if you actually need or if you actually want to have more squares you can buy the extension so let's let's see what they look like uh, so let's grab the first one this is the one where it's going to control the rest so we can get an idea how they work so first let's flip them over so we can set them up and then once we have them hooked up together then we can flip them again and probably put them on the wall let's see how easy it is to set it up so the one with, with the QR code is the brain the rest of them are the extensions so it's easy to remember so you can put the brain anywhere you want so if you put it on the wall like this perhaps if you want to have it in the middle maybe in the corner wherever your outlet is so the template just to give you an idea it's for this there's the hole for mounting and that's where it is right there it doesn't come with screws so you can use your own screws now looking through the manual I see that you can download the application from the App Store or Google Play by scanning this nothing comes up so you have to look for the application so on the instructions it does tell you to go ahead and power up the first square download the application and then go from there because the instructions are on the application now just so you can see I did wanna know how many of these brackets we had and you have 30 of these and you have 18 of these so let's see what it looks like when we go ahead and give it some power so let's align these so let's take the first one or the brain and plug it in with this cable and I do have a black cable I'm sure I'm gonna probably use one or the other depending on where I put this in so let's power it up to see what it looks like oh there's a blue LED here oh wow it looks pretty cool now this light underneath it's turning green it was flashing or still flashing now it looks pretty cool really nice cool colors let me turn off the light see what it looks like it looks pretty cool I like the colors and I'm assuming the the light is flashing because I haven't paired it with anything yet so let's download the application and then connect it to this one and see what happens and both uh, Android and iOS it has a little star oh, first time go ahead and first time looking at it so welcome to the world of Twinkly so you can log in here or create an account or continue with Facebook I created an account so now it is asking you if you want to get uh, deals so you can sign up or remind me later let's sign up now it's searching for the twinkly device so that's probably why the light is flashing so now it's asking you which one so let's go ahead and do the squares it wants to access your location so now it's asking to have the phone close to the square and press and hold the controller so it's flashing green so let's press and hold till it turns blue
now it's blue now it paired so now it's it says congratulations here's your twinkly and it gives me the the number of the panel I guess now it's asking me to go ahead and select my Wi-Fi preference either connect the twinkly device to your local Wi-Fi network or you use your twinkly device internet Wi-Fi so direct Wi-Fi or your local Wi-Fi and it's uh, telling you that this is recommended so let's choose this one so to go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi network you gotta choose your Wi-Fi and your password I went ahead and put the Wi-Fi settings so now it's applying the Wi-Fi settings to the square so you have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so now it's trying to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi network and it's sending the information over to this to the application so it says it might take up to 30 seconds it does connect to the 2.4 gigabyte network the next thing is telling me that there's a firmware update so let's hit ok and now it's updating the firmware and now the square went blank now it's asking me to give it a name and then you can do it either now or later so let's save it now let's say it says you want to add additional panels and let's say yes physical setup safely unplug the square master panel from the power source and then connect the additional panels mount the entire setup into the direct position and plug it back in before you configure setup uh, let's see you can do it either way setup can be done this way or a square setup and then go ahead and and you can map the lights oh and it gives you some tips uh, avoid reflective surfaces keep the mobile camera steady during the process ensure moderate ambient light not too dark let's hit next it's asking for permission so for now since we're not doing the mapping yet let's go ahead and unplug this and then plug the rest of the squares and then turn it back on here is the cable and with the cable you're gonna go ahead and plug the cable here and it's pretty cool because it's, it's flushed so this you can either plug it in here perhaps on the other side here so if you plug it in on this side let's say you plug it in like this you could either have it here like that you could probably put it on an angle and here you don't need any brackets because they don't, they don't have to be connected but if you want to go ahead and put it right next to it then you're gonna need these so you can go ahead and put them together so so these brackets come in very useful because you can go ahead and put them here like that and the cable it's there hidden if you have extra cable you probably can leave it this way and let's see it does fit this way as well so we can hide the cable like that there's not a lot of gap between these two here and if you do want to put it the other way like that then there's more space so let's play around with them let's have that one set up this way 
this one, let's head it up backwards. So this one's facing the other way. And then this one, let's put in this one here. This other one, let's plug this one Let's put them both facing the same way. This way, and then this one, this way. I know this is not the way I'm gonna install them, but I just wanna make sure that they work no matter how the wiring is. So let's flip them over and see how they work. Now another thing that you can do with these little brackets, you don't have to Put them right next to each other. If you want, you can go ahead and perhaps do this. Perhaps you want to put them here. You have four of these holes that you can put the bracket on. So the main one is here. This one's plugged in into this one. This one is by itself. These. This one is plugged into that one, which in return is plugged into this one. And let me see. It's trying to map the lights. And um, let's see. Let's hit start mapping. So what it's doing, it's actually reading the lights where they are and there's a line on the application and it's reading the lights where they are and I think now it's finished. Now it's asking if you want to add another device or start using the app. So let's start using the app for now. So now let's go ahead and start doing the rainbow effect. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can see it on the application as well as on the lights. Snow. Turning off the lights probably makes it look better. Snow. Rainbow, snake, bright twinkle, fireworks, candy cane, sparkles, horizontal flag, vertical flag, waves, up, down. Diagonal, Sunset, Vintage, Glow, Moving Blend, Fixed, Carnival, Pale Rainbow, Cool Sky, Peachy, Sherbert, Wednesday Blues, Mint, Flare, Night Sky, Rainbow Stripes, Unicorn Sun, Miyaka, Rasta. And go ahead if you want to draw it with your finger. I'm doing this with my finger on my phone. So as you can see here, 
you can twinkle them, you can change the colors if you want. And if you want to erase any of them. And if you want to dim the lights, you can dim it from the application too. So that's 50%. 38%, 20%, zero. Perhaps you want to choose just a color. And here are the colors. So let's choose blue, green, purple. If you want to put a timer, you can do a timer. You can go ahead and put the on time, off time, and how bright you want it to be. So it's pretty cool. It has a lot of functions. So let's move the squares around and map it again. So let's say you want to do something abstract like this. I can hide the cables better probably through here, but I'm just, I just want to see how it looks. So now that I moved the squares, now we have to map it again. Now that it's mapped, now let's try the rainbow again. Whatever you do on the squares, you can always change the color of the effects. So you don't have to keep the same colors. The sunset does not look the same as here on the phone. So maybe having the squares this way, it doesn't give you the same effect any of the other ones where it doesn't really matter like night sky or like the unicorn sun doesn't look the same as here but now it looks like a sunset even though the squares are not right next to each other you can still see it same thing with the unicorn sun. So it just takes a lot more space this way. Fireworks. So you get the idea, that's how it looks. So you can play around with these for a long time. So it's really up to you. How you want this to look. I just changed the color on this one to blue, white, maybe different colors, the pink and white, red and white, perhaps just green. Then if you want to slow it down you can go ahead and do that. And once you're done with the colors that you like or the speed or whatever then you can hit apply and that's how it will stay now i found a gif that i created some time ago and it's of a lion tiger whatever it is and if you go ahead and import this to your squares don't expect it to be sharp the reason behind that is because the squares are pretty big so it's just like pixels if the squares these little squares were smaller it would probably be sharper but don't expect this to be perfect so by using this to do the gifs they have to be either you have to have more squares so that way the image could be expanded to all the squares but with just these six squares, don't expect it to be the same way. So you get an idea of what this looks like. I hope this video helps you in any way. Thank you for watching and enjoy.